All right, guys, now we're going to do uh, this uh, kind of confusing problem in which you have to uh, determine the magnitude of force F so that the resultant force in between these three forces is as small as possible. To do that, first you have to, um, you have to figure out the resultant force between the first two forces, and lastly, we're going to see what's the minimum. So remember, you put them head to toe. This is the 8K and then uh, you do the parallelogram and you estimate the first uh, resultant force which we're gonna call F prime and we know that F prime um, it's pretty easy to figure it out is equal to well, let's say this one's 8k this one is uh, 6k well, you could uh, do some law of uh, cosines or whatever it is that you want to do, but the easiest way to do this is simple Pythagorean theorem, which states that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, which means that f prime uh, squared is equal to uh, 8k squared plus 6k squared. So f is equal to uh, f prime is equal to 10k. <coughs> Now you can you gotta figure out uh, this angle right here. Pretty easy to figure it out. You just do uh, 10k actually. Sorry, you just do tangent inverse of the y over the x, which will be 8k over 6k. Ks cancel out, of course. And this is gonna give you an angle of 53.13 degrees. Now that you have this angle, we're going to redraw another diagram. We have F prime. I went through, uh, we know that this angle is 30 degrees, and this is F. So we're going to do our parallelogram again. And we're going to more or less estimate our resultant force. If this is if this is uh, 30 degrees, you know that this is also 30 degrees, and you know this is this angle, so this is this angle. So to find this force, all we need to do is F prime cosine of plus 30, which uh, we got this number right here, we plug it in right here. And we get that the answer is 1.196 kilonewtons. Now for the resultant force, all we gotta do is you're gonna find it's pretty easy. F prime sine of this angle, and this gives you 9.928 kilonewtons. This is the easiest way. Of doing this problem. Final answer.